Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking and showing you my favorite, favorite hair technique ever. I'm barefaced today, but I thought, eh, let's throw on some beautiful red lipstick. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in American Doll. And here is my natural hair that has air dried and been up in braids for a little while. So it's fluffy, it's not particularly shiny, and it's ready to get its straightening on. So the first thing that I'm going to do is use a heat protectant spray. So the one that I have here is the Regis Design Line Hot Stop Style Primer. It's great because it's not wet, it's like a dry spray, so you don't have to wait for the sections to dry before you flat iron them but it is annoying because it clogs up all the time. My straight iron today is the Chi Original Pro 1 inch Ceramic Ionic Termaline Flat Iron. So just the Chi Global Beauty one. It has an on and off button, the swivel cord. It heats up super quick and mine has lasted forever. We're talking like 10 plus years that I've had this iron. I did um, end up getting a second one to take with me on vacation or um, leave at someone else's house if I'm staying over at a boyfriend's, but these irons are so good. So the key to working with really thick and fluffy hair is to divide it into little sections here. So first I divide it into sections. When I'm ready to work with a section, I take it down, divide each section into the smaller sections that are maybe one or two inches long. I'll give it a spray with heat protectant. Give it a brush, and then right behind the brush, I will run the straight iron along. If I need to, and in this video I do a lot, I will give it another run with the straight iron, but really it's not great for your hair, especially if you're doing this every day. Try to just get it down to one swipe, but I thought I would go extra straight, extra shiny today since I'm showing off for this video. And I used to straighten my hair a ton. Now that it's a little bit longer, I tend to curl it a little bit more. But again, if I was straightening it every day, I would definitely only be using one swipe per. One of my favorite techniques when I'm doing this is to put the hair that I'm not currently straightening in my mouth. Just to hold them, it's easy to separate, it's easy to get the hair out and put it back in. However, if you are doing this, make sure you don't wet your hair with like drool because you don't want wet hair going through the straight iron. You definitely want to make sure it's dry when it goes through that iron. The top sections are probably the very most important sections for straightening. So if you are going to do two passes, here's maybe where you should be doing two passes. Um, just because this is mostly the hair that people will be seeing. If you have a hard time getting beautiful straight hair, especially after something like two passes, double check your straight iron. I mean, the one that I'm using here is, I think, 90 American dollars, so it is not cheap. But for the, the health of your hair and the fantastic result that you get from something like this G iron, I would say definitely splurge on a tool like this. If you try to use like a cheaper drugstore one and you have to go over and over your hair, it's just going to be more damaging in the long run. So here's what my hair looks like after. I absolutely love the way that straight hair looks. I wish I had straight hair. Here's the ends, just beautiful, super shiny. This will last me about three days, although it will get kind of crimped and stuff as I sleep on it. but. It's just some, one of my absolute favorites is straight hair. Catch you all later. Bye. 